Welcome back to my channel. I have one of my very dear friends living with Landon. <laughs> well, I just introduced you as your, your socials. This is Landon Hutchinson. That's fine. You know her as living with Landon. <laughs> She's a very close friend of mine and we just made two of the most fabulous, I would call this a dessert, but it's so much more. It's a, she's a dessert, she's a side. She's, she's a, anything you want her to be. She's she is the versatile. perfect thing to add to your menu. And then I'm showing you how to make my mom's fabulous chocolate uh, brownie oatmeal cookie things. We call them Darcy's Kindness Cookies. And here's how you make them. Okay, what are we making today? Well, we are making so a excited. family recipe. This has been mm -hmm. on our table. My grandmother's recipe, Jolene oh, from Jill. Alabama. We love Jolene. We love yes, her. this is a real Southern thing. Okay. So if you're not from the South, this may not be familiar, but yeah. if you are, you may you have know. had a variation of mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother did it with raspberries, Yum. but I've seen people do it with strawberries and all kinds of stuff like that. Right. So um, it is a weird combo okay but it is the salty and like the savory with the cream oh cheese and then like the, the sweet yep. but then like the tart of the mm -hmm. fruit i mm -hmm. it's the perfect yeah. storm i love it of flavors so first things first is okay. you crush up some pretzels okay okay three Easy. Cu three cups or just love. fill the bottom of your pan and you're like making it a crust yeah you just use okay. your fingers or what have you love it and we're um, on the move and I can bring this over yeah. here too. Sorry. No, uh, I, I melted two cup. Uh, I'm sorry, one cup of butter. One cup of butter. But you can't have too much butter. I know. It's like garlic. I know. I Not tell you. Much. And then a third cup of just good old granulated sugar. Fabulous. And then you're just going to stir this just around. Just do like a little, get this sugar. So basically, you're butter. making like a pretzel crust. Oh my God. What we're going to do is we're going to pour this over the top. Oh, I mean, that's I, sexy. I mean, honestly, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Literally not safe for work. Okay. No, it's not. Make sure it's you get lish. all the sugar out. Oh. Scrape that bowl for sure. Okay. okay. You want it covered <sighs> real good. So now it'll start to kind of come together. Oh, wow. And then we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Got it. Just let everything kind of caramelize mm -hmm. together. And so once you get it all mixed around, then you're going to start to evenly spread it. So you make sure you don't have any holes. Right. So this is going to just go right into the oven for go 10 right minutes. In. And then Easy. you're going to show me what you're making. Here, I'll open this up yes, for you. please, ma'am. Thank you. Perf. Okay. Now, do you take this to like the holidays? Is this an every day? This is at together type any thing. gathering yeah. we're ever at. I love This that. is there. Oh, and actually love. leftovers of it is... Oh. Honestly, where it's at. Oh like, gosh. you know, scoop, you know. Oh, you, I know. The I'm time. the person that will just kind of take one last bite out of oh, the fridge. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's like a me. cake, you know. Stand, yep. And the thing is, I love this because it's special. It's a family it recipe. Is. You guys always have it. Yes. You're different. Image. That's very similar to this. Okay. Um, these are Darcy's Kindness Cookies. Okay. My godmother actually was the one that named them. My mom, I think we just had them at someone's house growing up. But then she kept making and making them. And so my godmother, Care, who is like her best friend. And this is kind of who you learned she taught all me the make, things. Oh, okay. cheese boards, fabulousness. Yes. And really both of them. They hosted so many parties growing up. My, my mom too, very much so like Belinda mm -hmm. and uh, just all the things. Um, but these cookies are called Darcy's Kindness Cookies because it has this ripple effect of you make these and you bring them to someone's home. Okay. Then they want the recipe immediately and then they make them. And it's like, oh, I love you know? that. Okay. So... Care Bear call these Darcy's kindness cookies. They're basically a brownie oh. and an oatmeal cookie all in one. Okay. Yeah, I have to melt chocolate first. And okay. Landon was telling me, because I, I have a double boiler somewhere. Yeah. It's packed away. And she said you could put a bowl yes. over boiling water. So that's let's, it. So I literally just do this. Yeah, but we need our bowl. Oh. I'll get a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs you gotta that? have a bowl. Need a bowl. I feel oh, like here. we should dry her. <gasps> right here. Oh, yeah. The because the chocolate, chocolate and, the water. and the water do yep. not mix. Two moms Kinda with kitchen like towels. We're just on the water. Have you seen anything? This is teamwork. Cups. Oh, look at that. See? Yep. Perf. Okay. So, Amazing. set that on there. Okay. Let that Amazing. boil. You can Let actually add your chocolate now because oh. it's kind of not directly on the heat, so it still works. <gasps> what? <laughs> Something sounded like it was happening. <laughs> no, I can see that that would be also the butter on maybe yeah. sleep seeped over. The oh, end. that's what. Oh, that it's fine. It's no fine. Worries. I'm not worried about it's it. It's no big deal. Little grease fire. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs that? It's fine. Um, um, so, a cup and a half of pre-sifted flour. By the way, we are melting two cups of chocolate chips over on the fire. <laughs> 
You know, if the house goes up in flames, at least we have- No, I was just like, is this gonna crack? No, it- <laughs> <laughs> I just have a little- You ever had glass, you ever had glass in these cookies? <laughs> wondering <laughs> no I'm just kidding so I'm doing a cup and a half of flour she's making sure that our chocolate's good <laughs> I know so I'm trying to decide <laughs> it did crack oh it's fine <laughs> listen it's a little you know, no. it's fine. I'm actually it's turning fine. it down. It's fine. You're gonna have people. The good thing you're is gonna have people probably, DMing you saying not you can't shards. do that. No, I feel like my mom did that growing this up. This is what my mom. My did. mom did that. Listen, if your so mom did just it, had the heat you, on you too lived, high. You can do it. We just had the heat on too high. Small yeah, minor it's my bad. Sorry. It's, no, it's all right. It's fine. You know, baking is such a science. It is a science. I'm a better cook. I'm not a good baker. Which is, I mean. Okay, while she's getting the chocolate ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my block of cream cheese and one stick of butter. Both are softened. We're ready to rumble. There we go. I've got that. I'm gonna beat this together till it mixes really well. Nice and creamy, fabulous. Love it. Got that. The good thing is we're professional. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. This is like some Laverne and Shirley stuff. <laughs> Lucy and I. Do I'm you have a hot pad? Uh, yeah, a hot pad. Is that like a like a like a mitt? Yeah. <laughs> I am cracking up. The good thing is, I mean, there's no. I mean, it's it's fine. It, it's it was fine. a clean cut. It was a clean <laughs> cut. Hold on, I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, and then I'll scrape it. I, in. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Put just on your one at a sweater. time, go. So what we have here is two cups <laughs> and some of shards. Chocolate, a little bit of glass shards. <laughs> just get around the edge there. I remember when I heard like a little crackle over there. It was like, oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, it's fine. So we just, and I also use semi-sweet. I can't say this seriously. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate. Last tablespoon. <laughs> All right, it. perfect. You know what? Done. This is called making it work. This yeah. is what you learned how to do on my YouTube channel. I've got two eggs. I'm gonna add this to our mixture. In gorgeous. You need half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I like it. That feels right. That feels right. It feels right. Turn up the volume here. These are the most delicious cookies. I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. This also makes a massive batch. What you're gonna do now is add in your baking soda. I'm doing one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and then one and a half cups of flour. One and a half cups of pre-sifted flour. I'll yeah. wash this because I'm gonna need oh, this in yep. a second. Okay, while she's doing I'm that. On dish duty. We're on dish duty. I'm afraid duty. to lick this, but I kind of want to. I mean, you could, you should just to see, you know, are yeah. we safe? Okay, and I'm just going to incorporate this until it is all thoroughly mixed in. And then once we get this complete, completely mixed in, then we're just gonna add in our oats. It's going great. Looking good, arms about to fall off. You know what looks like a chocolate frosting? Yeah. You gotta taste it. I feel like I'm going. Yeah, it's good. When, when does the brown sugar normally go in with the regular sugar? With Probably the with butter? the eggs and stuff and butter. Oh. I say just throw it, right? Like it's all in there at the end of the day, yeah? So when you have your eggs. This is when I said I was not a baker. <laughs> when you have your eggs and your butter and your cream cheese, you're gonna put in your one cup of packed brown sugar and half cup of granulated sugar. I, you know, listen, it it's all going is. in the same spot. It is what it is. Like this, you know. Yeah. We're just gonna stir in our oats now. We have three cups. That looked like four cups actually, but 
I'm, I might have done the measurements wrong. Um, three cups of Quaker oats or whatever oats you've got. So I do it little by little just because. Just leave a gets... cup left in the bowl and you'll be fine. See? It's called it's like pivoting. Re it's like reverse ingredients. Exactly. So step in the wrong direction, right? This just, I think this just means we're better cooks. And we're, we think on our feet. And I like, like to moms. just go as like add things as I go. Like, yeah. Oh, maybe it needs more and of like this. And uh, like what? And like Belinda, add some red pepper. <laughs> It'd be just fine. Like that cocktail we made. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, I would drink that again. As a matter of fact, hold on, please. <laughs> Speaking of, I would drink it again. I will drink it again. Thank you. And you can drink it right now. Cheers. I That's love good. us. I love okay. us too. Almost done. This is really taking longer Listen, than I anticipated. Listen, this is something we're never going to forget. It's time the we're not. Cookies may not be memorable, yeah. but this will be. <laughs> and that's honestly all that matters. And that's all that matters. So all I'm going to do is put this on an ungreased cookie sheet. Okay. Baking sheet. What was the temperature on the oven? Because I was using it 350. for 350. 350. Okay. 350. Yep. Let me bring it down. And then you just cook for like, I want to say it's eight to 10 minutes. Um, you want them still to be like a little bit chewy. You don't want to overcook these. But I love making these for any sort of like, I don't know, someone just had a baby, you're going to a party, someone's housewarming, like, because everybody likes these. Yep. They're so delicious. You've never had anything like them. I can see. Are they chewy or like more crispy? Yeah. No, okay. they're chewy, okay. which is why I, I like them. I have cookie. to have a chewy cookie. I feel like you could just like freeze these and eat it. Like, you can. Like, they almost look like those like, I, I protein balls That's or something. That's literally what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze the rest of the batter because this makes okay. so many cookies. Sorry. No, you're fine. I mean, honestly. Mm. It's the perfect it's really good. flavor. Mm. Yummy. Okay. And then we're going to bake these eight to ten minutes. Okay. Take them out. Put sifted um, oh. powdered sugar over the top. Okay. Let me so, wash my hands. That's what I'm going to do too. Yep. <laughs> Is that literally? And then my pretzel thing has cooled and now we're going to do the next layer. Perfect. While your cookies bake. While we're doing that. Honestly, this has worked it out worked really out. well. 350, eight to 10 minutes. I we're going your out. oven might be there. Yeah, it's perfect. First of all, <laughs> the only thing that's great about this is this pot, this could not possibly happen. It's the wrong side. Oh no. Okay. So my pretzel thing okay. baked for 10 minutes. Uh-huh. And then that needs to cool. So either you just want to throw it in the fridge. Like what do you set do? Set it off to the counter. You can throw it in the fridge. Okay. Throw it in the freezer. You just really want that because what you don't want to do is add your room temperature cream cheese mm. and your Cool Whip that okay. has also been defrosted in the refrigerator. Okay. You don't want this frozen. It needs to be smooth. It needs to be ready. To Can't go. have a chunk of frozen in the middle. So okay. we're gonna go eight ounces of cream cheese. Yep. And I typically use about twelve. So I'm gonna leave four ounces in here. Got it. You know, it's just kind of on par just with everything else mm -hmm. we've been doing today. Yep. So you're just going to whip this it. in. And honestly, it. you cannot mess this one up either. Right. Now we're going to whip her up. Okay. Start slow. Yep. You know? And you just want to make sure oh. it is all together. I just want a face plant in it. You know what I mean? I know it. And make sure that you whip it for a few minutes because it can get chunky. Like the cream cheese doesn't smooth down into Got the cool whip. Yep. Because the cool whip's so light. So you really need to just, you know, work this light, bowl. Light, fluffy, creamy, yes. yummy. And if it is a little chunky, that's okay. It, honestly, it's going to be covered by this jello layer. Got so it. you're not going to know. Okay. So I'm going to turn the speed up now. Just turn to give it up. one Okay. Last. Make sure she's really incorporated. Gorge. That's my little trick. Love I it. pull her out and I leave her on for a sec. Oh. Watch. And it and it clears well, it the thing. Clean. So you just go like this. Okay. And then I kind of gently raise her and then I turn her off. So smart. That way you get but the majority of it off. Nothing for you to oh, clean so up. That, so that there is a downside. There is but, a downside okay. always. Still love it. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. that goes like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do yeah. is we're going to grab out our pretzel from the fridge. I just threw it in the fridge. Okay, you want me to grab that? And yeah, that'd be great. Okay. okay. So now this is cooled oh down my, completely. And the it reason so good. this is so good. Oh my gosh. So it's almost, it's hard. Yeah. You feel that? Oh so yeah. You made like set. a crust. Mm -hmm. So when you cut into it with a knife, you're going to get squares. So this Delish. is what Belinda says, I'm and so Jolene. Okay. If I've heard this, you asked me what I remember about this dish. Yeah. It's them going, seal the edges, seal the edges. Got it. So I'll never okay. forget that. Seal the edges. We're so ready. you want a kind of a dollop. Okay. And you don't want your pretzels to come up. 
Okay, so we want to get this all around. We're gonna, you gotta take your time. Just kind of spread, uh, you get what I'm saying? You gotta really work this baby. Yeah. You gotta almost like turn your yeah, dish, yeah. you know, and then just, wow. Yeah, it's pretty. But so you wanna pretty. seal the edges because if you don't, when we pour this warm liquid on top, the jello, we don't want it to seep down. That would make it like mushy, yes. right? Is that why? So okay. we want this to stay crispy. Yum. This to have a center creamy yeah. layer and then to have the jello on top. Delish. Cookies are ready. They smell. Oh, they smell good. Fabulous. They smell real good. Mm. Let those cool for a little bit. Now. A Jolene and Belinda trick, if you have time, uh -huh. would be to put this back in the fridge or even in the freezer for like 10 minutes Let to it really just set. really kind of mm -hmm. set up. But for the sake of just putting it into our mouth yeah, sooner sure. than Love later, that. always into that. We have now, we'll set this to the side. Okay. We have, this is two bags of yeah. frozen raspberries. Okay. So what I did is I boiled hot water, two cups. Got it. Okay. okay. Perf. And then we're gonna add a large pack of jello, or you can do two small ones. Of raspberry jello. Of jelly, raspberry right? jello. Okay. 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 Amazing. Gonna Amazing. whisk this real quick. So be careful because this is not gonna come out of my white pants. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. The chocolate might. <laughs> so when when you read the package of jello, it'll say add ice water, like a uh -huh. cup of hot and a cup of ice. So you, this is your ice water. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. It's frozen. So okay. then we're gonna go in with our raspberries. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my gosh, that color. Okay, kind of get this mixed in. So this is gonna oh. kind of activate our jello, if you will. Got it. You're gonna you're gonna kind of pour the liquid over the top. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold this for you. And then just kind of give her a little shake, or you can use a spoon. I was gonna say, do you want a spoon? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Here, you want a big spoon or like this uh, kind of? Oh, that's spoon? fine. So what you want to do is use the back of your spoon yep. and try to spread all those raspberries so every bite has like chunks yep. of raspberry. O M G. Yeah. You yeah. guys, am I doing this right? Yeah, now? you're doing it. Go doing it. Doing oh it. my yeah. god! This but you want to just insane. be careful not to like rip oh. up. The, no, you did. You did. You're doing great. Like rip up the Cool Whip. Here, like get me. the Jello to the edges. I want to yeah. make sure people. Are but done. like, if there's a little, yeah, what do you, you know, a frozen like little pump, it? I probably should have broke that up a little better. That's but okay. no big deal. If um, you want to add some dollop it with some fresh raspberries oh. before it sets up, you totally can. Oh, that's can. pretty too. Yeah. So then, honestly, just get your. Make sure your jello is like to all the edges because this is going to seal That's sealing the top the edges too. Yeah, too. and then you can just take like a paper towel or your finger and just, you know, make Go it through. pretty. Yeah. And then honestly, this goes right into the refrigerator. Easy. I mean, a couple hours, whatever jello oh takes or gosh. overnight, you can make sure. this the night before. Oh, we love a and recipe like that. that's okay. it. So like you can see all the beautiful layers. How beautiful. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat this. It really is kind of could be 4th the July. You could yeah. put some fresh That's um, what, like blueberries, blueberries or blackberries and do like a little flag yes. and do the the stripes yep. with the, this is perfect. Yep. Oh my God, this So this will go right amazing. into the fridge. You don't need to cover it or easy. anything. And then okay. honestly, again, the night before, simple, like right. easy, you know how, the, how the nice that is. I love that. Um, yeah. And, and then for easier. the sake of your Time. YouTube channel yes. TV yes. show. I made one last night, and so I'm going to show you TV, guys. Folks. She's ready. <laughs> I'm going to show you all complete. Okay. I'm so we'll, we'll swap it out. Oh my gosh, this looks so gorgeous. Isn't she look so pretty? Do you need a spatula? Do you need uh, like a We're going to need like a like knife your... and then a spatula. Yes, I a guess we do. A spatula. Yes. Okay. You can serve it like this. Yeah. Or sometimes. Oh yeah. I like to take my leftover Cool Whip mm. and just kind of add a little dollop and then use my. Just do kind of a real messy Beautiful. little dollop in the middle. I love that. And then I love a garnish. I know you love a garnish. You know too. I do. So I would just do something like that. Looks delicious. And then I just kind of dot it. Oops. You know, <laughs> just. <like. laughs> I just kind of dot it with a couple raspberries. And then, of course, so pretty. I love some fresh mint. Yes. Get a few little pretty sprigs in here. It just takes here. everything up a notch. It garnishing. really does. It does. And then I just look kinda, at that. Yeah. She that just, is fabulous. She just looks so pretty. She's so pretty. And, and it's she so fresh. So and yummy. good. She smells good. It's and, great for summertime. Yeah. It's light. It's like yeah. a little chilled. She's, she's, oh, she's cute. She's cute. You she's know, adorable. You just kind of. We love her. There yep. she is. Mm -hmm. Obsessed. And then you bring her and, and you then say, you want I'm to eat her. her. And then what do you bring? Okay, so my cookies are out. But I like to put a little powdered sugar over the top. Ooh. So I'm literally just gonna like. I like it. Here. It kind of goes with our theme today. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at it's snowing. It's snowing. I mean, that's a spatula. <laughs> I mean, I have this too if you want. 
<laughs> you can really, put six cookies on I that. mean, okay, like I want to do I, this. I don't even this, need to like, make it to the plate. I feel like it just needs to go right go. here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, are we going for it? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I no. don't think it mattered we did mm-hmm. it out of order. Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh. See? There you go. It's, it's the right wow. amount of sweetness. They're not overly sweet. Oh, these are really good. Are those good? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't wait to try this. Okay. I'm well. so excited. Uh, knife, please, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. Yep. This is going in. Just going in. Now, you can... Oh, I want you yum. to also slice this because yeah, I want you to see, feel like... You I can get, see in the, the you friction. You can get through that pretzel crust. Yeah. Okay? You, you need a big, you need a big oh, enough so slice. Excited. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, my gosh. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Mmm. Girl. Okay. You guys, do you see this? Look how stunning I know, this dessert is. Wild. Hold on. And here's the thing about oh, this Oh, my God. One. I'm so excited. You need to get all the goodness. You, you have can't to. leave any of this Load in me the up, pan, babe. Okay. Okay, here's your fork. You ready? It's taking me back. Yes. Okay. I'm you so gotta excited. get a little bit of everything though. That's I'm making sure that I have the pretzel, yes. I have the whipped cream, or the uh, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't it like? No, it's so good. Mm. It's the little mm. crunch of the pretzel no. at the end. It's like slightly soft. Wait, I'm so. Taken aback. Like, you would have never really put these things together. Mm-hmm. Like, who thought of this? Mm-hmm. With the tartness mm-hmm. of the raspberry, mm-hmm. with the creamy and the salty and the butter. I mean, what is it? Mm-hmm. It's like each yeah. little chew gets you something else. Strawberry mm-hmm. jelly. I love Come it. Mm. Girl. Mm-hmm. Love you. Thank you, moms. Thank you for being here. Mm. Are you kidding? Thank you. Delicious, you guys. You gotta make these. That's right. You're not gonna wanna miss these. I'll make sure I have all the recipes in the caption, mm-hmm. on the blogs, on the Instagram. Make sure that you're following Landon, please. Living with Landon is her Instagram account. <clears throat> you're gonna love following her. She's the best. Okay. And um, you gotta make these dishes. If you do, let us know. If you wanna see more content like this, just make sure you're subscribed <laughs> to my YouTube channel. It's more chaos. Please, it's chaos and it's delicious and it's. Well, you're good. A little bit of fun. The two of us together, it's kind of I, like I we're breaking it. glasses, we're breaking doing it wrong, we're keeping it real. But you know you what? Know. We're having fun. Having fun.